Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. How many of you like waffles? You? You? Oh, you do. Well, I love them. I love the smell when they're cooking and the yummy taste after you put on syrup. In today's story, a woodpecker wakes up to that yummy smell and just must have them. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as I read Woodpecker Wants a Waffle, written and illustrated by Steve Breen, and see if he manages to get one. One morning, Benny awoke to the best tummy rumbling smell. So off he flew to investigate. Grand opening, Moe's, home of a hot waffle breakfast. W-A-F-F-L-E, he read. What in the world is a waffle? The waffles smelled good. The waffles looked good. The waffles must taste good too, thought Benny. I want waffles, Benny declared. Benny politely pecked on the front door. Tap, tap, tap. But instead of waffles, he got the boot. Bap. Whoa. Next, he tried to sneak in. Can you see him? But instead of waffles, Benny got swept away. Flap! Oh my. Benny tried a number of creative disguises. Let's see, health inspector. Oh, that's scary. Oh, how clever. But instead of waffles, he was tossed in the trash. Swoosh! Oh my. What are you doing? asked Bunny. I'm wishing for waffles, said Benny. <laughs> the animals started laughing. That is ridiculous, Bunny said. Oh boy. One by one, the other animals chimed in. Raccoons don't eat ravioli. Lizards don't eat lasagna. Moose don't eat muffins. Frogs don't eat fries. Rid it. Owls don't eat oatmeal. Hawks don't eat hot dogs. Coyotes don't eat cupcakes. Snakes don't eat snow cones. Skunks don't eat scones. Turtles don't eat turnovers. Bears don't eat bagels. Chipmunks don't eat cheeseburgers. And woodpeckers don't eat waffles. Oh my. Well, why not? Benny asked. Why not? The animals grumbled, chirped, croaked, and whispered. They thought and thought and thought and thought. Because I said so, said Bunny. I really don't have time for this said so nonsense, Benny said impatiently. Benny got right to work devising a plan to get some waffles. First, I will shoot out of a cannon. Foom. Then hit the ground juggling. Then moonwalk and break dance followed by a stand-up comedy act with a Broadway-style finale featuring fireworks. The animals were speechless, though Benny was sure he heard some snickering. See you all tomorrow. Don't be late. Oh, boy. 
The next morning, the animals gathered in the field by the diner to catch Benny's big show. No one was late. No one except Benny. Boy. As the animals waited patiently for Benny to arrive, the waitress in the diner noticed something odd. The customers noticed something strange, too. Oh, boy. Everyone at the diner stepped outside to look at the animals. That's when Benny made his move. Sweet, said Benny. enjoyed this story, please check it out at your local library or buy a copy from your favorite bookstore.